Alrighty, well, today's soap is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be in loaf mold. It's going to be in several little molds. They are all mouse shaped. They are all unique from each other. And they are plastic, which is the least desirable of the molds. Silicone is the best option, but that's not the option we had. I'm gonna be using a few different colors because the mice do have accessories. We're gonna be using amethyst purple, jewel blue, sea foam, rose quartz, and citrus. Maybe a little bit of activated charcoal. And we're definitely going to be using some sodium lactate because of the, the difficulty of unmolding plastic molds can be a challenge and this should help. We're also gonna have some kale and clay, some sugar, and we're going to be doing a combination of fragrances, which would be bamboo and coconut, which is kind of a luxurious spa smell, it's nice, and rainforest, which is really hard to describe. I should have looked up the notes. I'll tell you later. I, th I hope I remember to tell you later. So let's go make this variety of soaps shaped like mice. First, we'll go ahead and add from the recipe's oil, a little bit of oil to our micas. Here's our lye water. It has our sodium lactate in it. All right, and now this is just a one pound batch right here. This is going to be just for the colors. Okay, let's look back at our little micas here. And because you can't really just set them down because they are not flat on the bottom, my solution was to set them on a bowl. All right, we are going to start with pink because pink is important when talking about rodents. Why is pink important? Well, for their pink little ears and their pink little hands. Whoops, Let's see if we can clean this. And also their pink feet. And what else are we missing? The pink tail. It's right there and it's right here. We're going to do his little eyes. Let's give him a green tie. Here's a hard part. This is glasses because it's very thin. I'm going to give him blue glasses. Now you get the idea of what I'm doing. So we'll be back to pour the main body of the mouse in just a little bit. And as you might imagine, I didn't use all of my one pound batter of soap. And I, I think I forgot to mention that there is no fragrance in the colored soap. This is a two pound batch here. In here, we've got our kale and clay, our powdered sugar, our sodium lactate and our fragrance. I 
think I actually got that a little thicker than I wanted to. So we're going to move right along. Yep, you just got picked up and moved over. Let's start pouring. The body of our little mice. Well, you can see my orange wasn't completely thickened up. You saw that spread out. Hopefully he looks okay. I got a little wild. Poured a little too high and a little too fast. Oh well. Whoops, I dropped it right on his eye. I hope his eye is okay. Whoa. My batter's getting thick. I didn't think this either one of these fragrance oils um, accelerated. But was I wrong? Looks like it. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do. Let me get that in there before it gets any thicker. Actually, I'm going to leave some of it because this is fragranced and I'm about to pour unfragranced into it. I'm going to mix that a little bit. Here's my unfragrant soap batter that's been sitting. I wonder if it'll be a different color. Pour in some blue and green. This is going to be a special soap, isn't it? Pink. Then I'm going to pour in the rest of this unscented batter. Then we will do that. Then purple and black. This is the messiest soaping I've ever done. And it's also the most colors I've ever used. Okay, and then the rest of our fragrance bat batter, which isn't really that much, but it's some. Um, nice and clumpy, just like we like it, right guys? And then I went this way, I think, so now I'm gonna go this way. We'll see you for the cut of this and the unmolding of nine different mice. It's been two days since we poured these and I just took them out of the freezer. I already know that some of them don't look good because obviously underneath is transparent. Because I did not wait for the, the colored portions to get th thick and firm up. Mostly when talking about the eyes, we've got problems. But I learned my lesson. So you see this cute little mouse, so cute. But if I hadn't been so hasty, he would have been perfect. He's going to be mine or one of my family members. Can't sell that one. There's another one with a similar problem. He's in a little hole. He's in his hideout. But that's another one I don't believe I would be able to sell. This one, this is why, why soapers, we don't enjoy plastic molds. Oh, and there's another reason it took some of my soap off. That's a shame. I was going to say this one could pass, except when I unmolded it, it got wrecked. But he looks like he's got some, it used to just be all orange, but you remember when I poured it, it kind of spread all over. But now it just looks like um, Colby Jack cheese. Well, he might be passable, kind of. Yeah, I don't know. All right, what else do we got? Here's another one that it would have been cute, if only. Oh, 
His blue scarf spread all over his face, so this one I can't sell either. So my second try will be much better. I have learned. I have given myself advice after this. Oh, look at this. That's such a shame. This one was almost perfect, but he got wrecked in the unmolding. How about this one? Well, he came out very nice. None left over in the mold. He needs some trimming. He's got some activated charcoal smear on him. I don't know. He's not perfect, and that's what people want. Yes, I think my next attempt will be better. She was almost perfect. Unless you say she's wearing an outrageous amount of eyeshadow. I really like the pink though. The pink turned out really nice. But yeah, I don't think I could sell her either. How about this one? Now this one was also almost perfect. Except we got a smear here. I guess this is okay. I don't know. Still not totally happy with it. Maybe people don't care as much as I think they do. He sure is cute though, isn't he? Alright, our final unmolding. And then we will cut into our loaf mold. I'm really curious about what's going on in there. Well, you know what? I think this is the only one that might pass for being able to sell. Because even though he does have a few speckles on his face, he's practically perfect. Now I'll have to wash up my molds, and I just wash them in some hot water and a little scrub brush. Simple. All right, now moving on to our special little loaf of a big combination of colors. Unmolded really nicely. Now we need to decide how big these are going to be. Because this is a little bit shorter, it needs to be a little bit wider. Instead of one inch, we'll do one and a half inches. To make up for the shortness. Whoa. Unique. So I did look up the notes for these fragrances. The bamboo coconut has top notes of pineapple and spearmint mid notes of green floral and bamboo, base notes of coconut and coconut milk. I smell absolutely no spearmint. I don't know where they get that idea from. And then Rainforest, Crafter's Choice does not organize it in top, middle, and base notes. They just kind of describe it and they say sweet citrus, blooming jasmine, and blonde woods. I don't know how that's supposed to give you an idea of what it smells like, but that's what they say. Well, I like these bars. They're, they're different. Nice wild swirls. And there's our final cut. Pretty. So lesson learned, I guess, about allowing my details to firm up before pouring soap on top of it. They smell amazing. No discoloration. It's, it's been four days. It's been four days. And uh, these are a very pretty creamy white dish. Soapy white. I really like the natural color of soap. 
Um, all of these are going to be mine and my family's. I can't sell any of them because I'm not happy with their appearance. I'm happy with their smell. I'm happy with how they feel. But I don't think anyone would buy them. I just don't think so. And then our special extra soap. I stamped them and have them beveled. These are pretty cool. I like them. I've never made anything quite like this. I like I like these bars. I got six of those. So here is my <clears throat> my project that I need to try again. Next time will be a success. I'm sure of it. So 